ladies, it's Jen Calhoun, and this week in Mops we will be making Christmas scroll signs. I hope that you have a fun place in your house where you can hang up this Christmas decoration. All right, getting started with our sign, the first step is going to be to pick out the design you're gonna use. I'll have a few options available. You could bring in something that you find at home that you print off your computer. I just recommend that it fills up the entire sheet of paper, enlarge it as much as you can. That's gonna make it easier to trace and it's also gonna make it the right size to fit on your scroll. So feel free to have fun, get creative at home if you're so inclined. What we're going to do is turn it over and rub the back with chalk. Now, you really need a lot of chalk dust on the back to make this easy to trace onto your scroll. So I actually recommend filling it in one way and then going back a second time over it, maybe in the other direction. That's just gonna make sure that you have plenty of chalk on the back of your sign. The next step is going to be to secure your scroll to your table. Now, you wanna make sure there is a protective layer underneath your scroll to protect the table. That might be a tablecloth, newspaper, whatever we have provided to you. But we wanna make sure that we are protecting those tables. We're going to secure it with some masking tape. We have some at all the tables. This is just going to help that your scroll doesn't roll up on you while you're working on it. Now, be careful how you place it because you don't want to rip your scroll later when you're removing the tape. So I try to use as little tape as possible on the actual scroll. But this will definitely help you to keep the scroll out of the way while you're working on it. Then you're going to do your best to center your sign on your scroll. You could use a ruler if you're a little bit unsure of how far to place it, but you can probably eyeball it. In this case, it's not going to be as obvious as the last cracked. And then use a little bit of tape again, being careful to only put a little bit on the scroll itself, just enough to keep it in place and not damage the paper when you pull it off later. All right, once you have everything secured, we're gonna start tracing your sign. So you're gonna have a pen at your table and you want to trace just the outline of all the letters. You need to push a little bit hard just to make sure that it is getting the chalk to transfer onto your scroll. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get started, take a slight peek to make sure that everything is showing up underneath before you finish, but you don't want to do that too many times because you may end up accidentally moving your paper and then things won't line up quite right anymore. So do your best, take your time, and go around the edges. If you go off course, off the letters, I would just say go right back on them again. You'll be able to see when you go in to fill it in on the scroll where you made that mistake and you won't be able to just fill in the right lines and brush off the chalk at that point. So this does take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. Do your best to stay in the lines and the more time you take, the easier the next step is going to be. All right, I'm moving my camera off for a second to make sure you can see how this should look when you're done. Now you can see with this pink ink that I have traced around all of the letters. And then when I take it off, I can see all of the letters really clearly on the scroll underneath. If you go through this and it doesn't look this clear, if you can't really see some of the letters, I really recommend just wiping off as much chalk as you can and starting again. It's going to be so, so much easier if you can really see all of the letters clearly. All right, I know you can't see the chalk too well from this angle, but you're gonna have to trust me that it's still there. I'm going to start filling in my letters with a Sharpie. Now I'm going to go around the outline of the letters, going really slow and taking my time, and then I'm gonna start filling them in after 
I've done the outline of them. If you make a little mistake, just try to go over the lines again. Do your best, take your time now. You might notice I'm starting from the right side and moving to the left. I'm right-handed and I think it might help not brush off as much chalk as I work across the page, but this is gonna take a while. You can kind of chat with your friends at your table while you're doing this. Hopefully that won't be too distracting, but take your time. Fill in the letters. It might not look that great when you first get started, when you're first just outlining the letters, but as you complete the words, you'll see that it's starting to look more and more like the original print. All right, so this is how it looks once I got all the words filled in with a Sharpie. Then you're going to very carefully pull up the tape without ripping the scroll, which I have done. And we're going to secure these rolls with a little bit of hot glue. You put a little bit on each side and then push it down with your fingers. Give it a second to get stick. And that's all you need to do, and you'll do it on the top as well. Make sure you get all your tape up. I have already done the top half of this. And then once you have your scroll secured, the last step is to get your twine and fish it down the top of your scroll. So I cut pretty long strands of twine. So feel free if I would start with a pretty generous loop and then you can always shorten it when you get home and you see where you're gonna hang it, but tie it in a knot and it will be ready to hang. So see, here is the sign on my wall now. You might notice that it's not laying quite flat, so you could try a little bit of tape. Just stick a little tape down there to get it to lie flat. Or you could use a little bit of sticky tack they use in schools. Um, if you'd like to, you could add a little bit of garland to the top, like that, to kind of fancy it up a little bit. But there you have it. That is our Christmas scroll sign.